Hello and welcome. My name is Gord Graf. Would you be happy with this door if it came out of your workshop? Well, this door came out of my workshop and I'm not happy with it at all. Let me explain that. Well, here's why I'm not happy with this door. A number of years ago, I learned a concept and the concept was painting with grain. As odd as it sounds, it just simply means to take a look at what you're doing. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Take a look at what you're doing. Of course it sounds strange. But what I was taught was this, that envision the piece finished. What's it going to look like with the material that you have available to you? Let me give an example. This door was constructed as part of a workshop I was doing on cabinet doors. And what I explained to the students I had at the time was this. When you look at the finished piece, this entire door, it should look uniform. What should happen is all the pieces should blend together. If you look at the rails, or pardon me, the styles, they're nice. They got nice, very prominent grain. Look at the rails. The rails don't carry the same grain. It's an offset. It, it doesn't, it's not balanced it doesn't look right. Eventually you'll notice this one day drinking your coffee in the morning looking up at your kitchen door and saying why doesn't this look right you'll pick it out and once you learn to paint with grain to design a piece based on the grain that the wood is providing you'll be a lot further ahead. Now when you look at this panel there's something else. This panel has nice grain coming up the one side of it but if you look at the end of it this flares out this way and then the grain dead ends. It doesn't look right. We flip the panel over and this side doesn't look too bad. You've got a flare going this way and a flare going that way. That looks rather nice. But the bottom, mm -mm. it doesn't look uniform. Same with this rail. doesn't match the styles. Simply put, we paint with grain. We envision what the piece is going to look like before it's finished with the material that we have and if need be we'll go out and get more material. Now let's go over and take a look at the bench where I've got a piece mocked up. I have to build another panel for another door. Let's take a look at that and see how that works. So what I've done is I've put this board aside and taken another one very similar to it, milled it, thickness planed it and now I'm ready to orient the boards that I have here into a panel. My main concern here is purely aesthetics. I want to be able to paint with grain. I can design now what I'll see for the next 20 or 30 years. One of the things that I take into consideration is stuff like this. This grain doesn't match any other grain in the board so I've cut my boards oversized and I'll be able to cut that off so I know I don't want that in the middle. I don't want it sandwiched between boards like this and having to look at this. I want this board to be on the outside. So that's my starting point. I know that this one is going to be on the outside and eventually this will get trimmed off. So this is the best side. That's the nice face side. I'll come along now and I'll look and I'll say okay what do we got here? What have we got to deal with? This board has got wider grain in it. This board has got narrow grain and wide grain. So what I want to do is I want to be able to take the wider grain in here and match it up with this. So now it's starting to look not half bad. However, what about this other board? This board here's grain is a lot wider than this. So if I take these two pieces of material, put them together, then I'm starting to get what looks like one solid board. Now I'm left with this. When I look at the grain here I noticed that on this piece of wood we have tight growth rings here and looser or wider growth rings there. So if I did this, does that look right? No it doesn't. 
because these growth rings are tight here, these are a little bit further apart. Immediately my eye is drawn to that. So I'll take this piece, flip it end for end, and do this. And now this is starting to look good. I've got wider growth rings here tapering down to narrower ones and then even narrower and then going back out to wider ones. Now the only thing I need to do is to put a clamp on that, pull it together a little bit better and see what it looks like. Well, let's take a look at the original board, the way it came out of the tree, the way I got it and then we'll take a quick look at the panel that we've put together. And here's the piece ready to be jointed and glued up into a panel. I'd say it looks pretty good. Painting with grain. Not such a new concept after all, is it? It's a matter of slowing down, taking a good long look at the material you're working with. We're creating something here. We need to be able to see what it's going to look like finished before it's finished. Take a moment, take a break, take a look at the material you've got to work with and paint with grain.